Hey, welcome to another edition of the Quick Hits. So this week I was reminded of a book that came out a couple years ago around uh, Netflix and their management style. Um, one of the authors was speaking, Aaron Meyer, and she mentioned um, the keeper test. And I wanted to bring it up because I've had a lot of conversations recently about leadership and growing your team and making sure you have the right people on the team and then making sure you don't lose the people that are key players on your team. And the keeper test is something that Netflix did to make sure that their talent level is very high so that they would, that way they can keep growing quickly. And it's pretty simple, but it's a good proactive way to make sure that you are keeping the best people on your team and keeping them motivated and making sure that they are, they're happy where they're at and they continue to grow with your firm. And then it's also a good way to proactively take a look at the people that are, you know, maybe not the best players, but not the worst players. They're kind of those, those B players and then figuring out what to do with them. Do we um, give them another role inside the company? Do we help train them, try to find their strengths uh, to make sure that they're bringing value to the company? Or do we, you know, maybe there's not a fit at your firm. So the keeper test is really simple. You ask your question about each member of your team. You say, if this person were to leave me, would I fight hard to keep them? Pretty simple. If this person were to leave me, would I fight hard to keep them? If the answer is yes, then you know how you have a valuable contributor. And you want to make sure that that person is excited to work where you work, uh, excited to work for you and your company, make sure you're moving forward. If the answer is no, then you know you have some work to do. Try to find their strengths, their weaknesses, try to help them. Um, maybe it's another role inside your firm or it's uh, somewhere else. But hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, thanks for uh, tuning in to the quick hits. I know it's kind of the end of the summer here and workshops are happening, marketing's ramping up. So I'm excited about the next few months here at Advisors Excel. So Hopefully you have a great week and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks.